Good morning and welcome back to the channel. If like me, your Mercedes sat for many weeks during the isolation period, you may be finding it a little sluggish to start. You may be wondering if it's a problem with the battery or not. In this video, I plan to show you how to access the secret Mercedes menu to check your car battery's voltage and to explain how you can use this information to determine not only the health of your car battery, but also your vehicle's alternator. The alternative is to use a traditional voltmeter and as many of you would know, the battery in these vehicles is tucked away under the driver's seat and thus it is not an easy task to access it. So to access the secret menu, you simply put your key in the ignition and you turn it one click to the accessory position. You then come across to the instrument cluster, you find the R button and you press it three times. And as you can see here, my voltage of my battery is currently showing 12.1 volts. Now your battery should be showing around 12 volts without the engine running. If it's down at 11 volts or lower, your battery is depleted and either needs replacing or charging. You could try rejuvenating it with a specialized charger and I'll put a link in the video to a video where I use my favorite CTEC charger for this purpose. Now, if you find that you can't access the secret menu, make sure that your instrument cluster is showing the odometer before you press the R button three times. If you don't know how to get it back to the odometer, just come to your steering wheel and press these two buttons on your steering wheel. As you can see here, I'm just pressing those buttons on the steering wheel and it cycles through the different menu options. But make sure it's on the odometer before you press the R button three times. Back to testing our battery and alternator. As you can see, my battery is around 12 volts, fraction over, so it all looks good. If I turn the key one click further to the on position, you will see the glow plug lights come on. And they quickly pop off again. You can see my voltage has dropped down a fraction to 11.7 volts, but that's not bad because the glow plugs are working on the vehicle draining current. And then, you can see if I turn it one click further, you can see my battery quickly drops down to 10.9, 11 volts during the starting process, but then it starts to come back up. And now you can see it has climbed all the way up to 13.6 volts as the alternator has kicked in and is charging. So in summary, you can see that my battery and alternator is working fine. In my case, my car had sat for six or seven weeks and all I had to do is start my car and drive it for an hour or so to fully charge the battery. If you found this video helpful, do feel free to like it. And if you have any suggestions, do feel free to leave a comment below.